Hello everyone and welcome to this new... That's not my intro. Hello everybody and welcome to this new video. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> what was that? Okay, so I'm going to be completely honest with you. I wanted to post a lot more regularly this year. Um, the problem was that I um, I filmed a video. Um, it was me cutting my hair um, like after like following a brand Mondo tutorial, but um, like so much of the footage just got corrupted and I don't know why. So um, yeah, I I was a bit, let's just say it, it, it caused a lot of demotivation. <laughs> and yeah, so um, I wanted to script this video first. Um, I, I haven't <laughs> because um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about lots of stuff and um, I always feel like I can do that a lot better if I don't script my videos because if I do I always like I cut so much stuff out just because I'm scared <laughs> so yeah as you can see here um, this is the speed paint maybe if you're following my Instagram um, or following following me on Instagram <laughs> you have already seen this picture it is of Asta um, he's an OC I have um, he is like a part of a, a group, um, which I like to call the gay boys TM because I don't have a name for them yet or I don't have a name for the story I put them in yet because it's a project I've been, yeah, pretty passionate about because I like the, th the, the, the it, you know, it, it, it's not often that I'm like, s okay with the things I create. Often when I write stories I'm just um, pretty disappointed and I'm scared that like um, these things have already been done and stuff and um, yeah so I'm I'm really happy to um, finally be happy with something I have created and um, yeah. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to talk a bit about the world they live in. So this is kind of like purgatory. Um, at least that's what some of the citizens of this world call it, because like um, it is what comes after death for some. And um, as you will see in this drawing, um, the people that live there, <laughs> like. In good, like it's it's they live because it's after death you know um they uh you can always see kind of how they died uh, for example like some of these characters have horns and a tail and that always means that they had to fight in some kind of way uh, in the moment they died um also like they are color palettes and stuff it always like reflects on the way how they died I don't want it to go too much into it because with some characters you can already see it quite easily or like with Asta I made it pretty clear I think um, like he's a pretty good example for that <laughs> but um, the other characters are sometimes have a bit more like backstories that just go a bit deeper and stuff and you can't really understand the backstory if you don't know the character at all so I still wanted to like work on these characters and like post some comics about them and stuff before I um, get into their backstories. Um, yeah um, also with the horns and the tails um, the bigger or the longer your horns and your tails are or is <laughs> um, that means that you had to fight a lot more. Like, for example, Farron, the character, I hope I put a picture of him in here, <laughs> like right now. <laughs> um, Farron, he is um, a character who has like a high, um, yeah, more morality, like he's, he's pretty, like this character, you just look at him and you're like, yeah, he really is just a good guy, like, <laughs> pretty much a good guy of course he also has his flaws and everything but um most of the time he tries to like stick to his morals and stick to the rules of society and stuff and so 
like he has like these little horns that are kind of like hidden in his um, hair, kind of because he he has the same hair color as his horns are, or like his hair fades into that color. Um, because with that, I'm not really sure if like he colored his hair so his horns would be a bit less prominent, or if uh, that is just the way he is, like the way he looks. I I wanted it to be like the way he looks because um, all of the hair colors of these characters are always kind of like spicy, <laughs> you know, because they have hair that's like pastel purple and stuff. So, you know, it, it would make sense for him to have like this dark red hair, like gray that fades into dark red. It, it's not that weird, <laughs> you know, in this world. Um, yeah. So uh, he also has a tail, just so you know, he has a tail, but you can't really see his tail because it's so small. <laughs> and that's the thing he's very like embarrassed about because like having uh, big horns and having a, a large tail, like in, in this world, that means that you're like badass, you know, because you have like, you fought and you fought so much that your um, horns just came out that large so yeah um i also like fun fact i'm uh, currently studying to be a physiotherapist in real life so um i like to like just add some details or some knowledge into the characters uh like uh, color palettes and stories about their death because like when you're a ther physiotherapist you also learn a lot about how a body looks in its pathophysiology physiology physiology wow <laughs> um so like this very dark spots or like like the, the color of asta's uh, hands and feet and stuff that's also like a clue on how he died so um yeah uh yeah so this world it, it's like that you you die you go into you like get into this world and you wake up in a kind of like therapist's office or that's what what some people call him the therapist um uh, that's like one of the characters i haven't drawn yet i want to draw him uh like um and like soon <laughs> sorry um soon because like he's such an important role this character is the first dude or the first character you will meet when you get into this world he has such an important role into telling the people what's going on they're often very confused like they were just i don't know shopping and then they had a heart attack and they wake up there why are they there and He's also kind of like, he's this really powerful entity, uh, or they, I, I don't really have like a pronoun yet for them, I'm sorry. Um, like, they are pretty much this, this very powerful entity that um, decides some of the stuff. Like, um, there is this kind of punishment in this world. It's It's not a nice way of like oh yeah, you're dead now so you can rest in peace. No, you can't rest in peace in this world because it's my world and I'm an asshole to my characters. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but um, like really, it's just he decides what punishment you get. Sometimes some characters don't get punishments, but if, they're, if he finds it worthy, like he's kind of... Yeah, he's not really like... He, he, he likes to decide things just uh, because he feels like it, you know? He's like, oh, yeah, I have a good day today. Yeah, let's punish some people because it's it's fun, you know? So um, <laughs> uh, that's why some of the characters, like, for example, Joshua. Uh, Joshua is blind. Uh, that's his punishment. <laughs> um, and it's actually a punishment not because he was bad, but he was too nice in life so um yeah i just wanted to like i don't want to go into it too much but you know just a little clue on why he is blind um <laughs> and yeah so it's sometimes the punishment is like 
not re very like reasonable. It's it's it doesn't make sense for some people to get punished, but they still get the punishment. Um, yeah, Theron is a very important character in this whole thing because he has seen how corrupt some of the things, some of the like um, companies and stuff that build up there, like the little stores and stuff. Um, they, they, it's it's like very. There's so much crime in this world, and he's uh, kind of like saying, "Why is there no one to stop them?" Um, because actually, he was a, a lawyer before he died, <laughs> and he uh, has a strong sense of like um, fairness and stuff. So um, he gets really mad if if something isn't fair, and um, so that's why. Uh, he and Joshua are kind of like the crime fighters, I guess. They're trying to like get the people to stand up against some of the criminals in this world. Um, which isn't easy, easy because many, many, many of the people that live in this world are just... They have just given up. Uh, like, they they think it's, it's, it's stupid to um, try and fight it because all these mafia kind of like uh, gangsters have become so powerful and so influential and yeah so um that's where <laughs> Gary and Lewis come in two characters I ship so much because I think that it's just so f it's so it's just so funny to me to imagine these two being as stupid as they look <laughs> and um yeah, so uh, these two are like kind of like the the mob bosses. Um, also, one important thing: uh, this world isn't like a city. It's, uh, you would guess that because, like, when I think of mafia and stuff, I always think of like big cities and skyscrapers and stuff and like modern mafia stuff. But um, this world is uh, built like kind of like in villages and these villages are very very different to one another and um yeah so just a little thing i don't have that much time left in this video so um let's just say some stuff about this drawing i wanted to give everything like a very like purplish bluish tone because yeah i i just like i think that fits astas Asta so much um Oh, so well, I guess. <laughs> um, and yeah, I wanted him to be dancing in the snow. Just another hint on how he died. <laughs> I will get into his backstory because it's like the easiest to exp explain and it's still kind of dramatic. And yeah, I guess stay tuned for some other like um, comics I will do on these characters and stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, because I like them pretty much I, I think they're cool and um they're pretty gay so yeah i like that <laughs> i will also get into like the character of of tokyo and stuff um they are a bit special and um yeah i will try to like be productive with this story because i just i just really like the way it turned out okay i can be i can be nice to myself for once <laughs> So yeah, I hope you I hope you like these characters. I do. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye.